Hi everyone, Mary Clavier here from the Transitions Collective. I have Laura Petroselli with me from Design Mastermind. Hey Laura. Hey there Mary, how are you? Great, thanks. Thanks for joining us. Um, we're gonna do a short behind the business for our viewers. Perfect. So you give us some insight. Yes. Into yourself and your business. Okay, so first question, what is your favorite business book? I actually have two favorite business books. Um, the first one is called Influence, Science and Practice by Robert Cialdini. Uh, and those principles can be applied to social psychology, uh, sales, business, and it just really helps you rethink the way that marketing works and why certain techniques are universally effective. And the other book that I really recommend, especially for people who don't have any sort of sales or marketing background, is called Never Split the Difference by Chris Voss. He's a former FBI negotiator, and his stories are amazing, and the lessons can be applied to any sort of negotiation, whether it's with your kids or with your potential clients. Awesome. I think I need to read that for my yes. kids. Yes. <laughs> especially for the kids. You said kids, I said I yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a, again, more psychology. You know, yeah. these are both very psychology driven yeah. books, but then you're kind of laying the foundation for using that psychology to operate your business and interact right. with your clients and potential clients. Right. Awesome. Okay. Do you have a daily ritual that's non-negotiable? Oh, um, my, my morning ritual is uh, very much in the process of being built. Right now, I mm -hmm. um, get out of bed. I, I make my bed right away, which I didn't do for so long, which like, who, right? Like, that's such an adult yeah. thing, but yeah. I make my bed and I immediately get ready. I don't let myself leave my bedroom without getting ready and putting on Ooh. my mascara and getting all freshened up. Um, and then I cook myself a big old breakfast, have a shot of espresso, and go straight to my co-working space oh, that's where awesome. I can yeah. be actually productive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but having the morning routine helps that. It does. I, yeah. I've yeah. added to my morning routine over time, like to try to mm -hmm. streamline it. It's changing now again because my girls are both in school, but, yeah, um, it has to be in flux. Yeah. Yeah. But it's super helpful because I wake up and I know what I'm doing. Yes. Oh yeah, exactly. Right. You don't have to think about it. Your, right. your decision-making engine is not revved up right. at that point. Right. To right. Work up to it. Right. Yeah. Okay. And what about, do you have a favorite business tool or app? Um, so really there's three tools that I use more. I mean, three non-design like business tools mm -hmm. that I use more than anything. I use ClickUp for task management. Uh, I, I share an account with my virtual assistant, so it helps keep things organized and they have the calendar functionality. It's like a really, really souped up version of Trello, um, okay. uh, which is why I love it so much. It's like mm -hmm. Trello, but with all the features you wish Trello had. Um, I also use Evernote to organize my, um, my, my notes for client calls and just keeping everything in one place. I also will copy my emails and save them to Evernote as templates, which is nice. And obviously Google Calendar. I meticulously plan out my work days in advance. And without that Google Calendar, I would just never get anything done. <laughs> I love that one. I started using Google Calendar for exactly that too. Yes. Even if someone doesn't yes. send me like a meeting invite, mm -hmm. I have to stick it in there. If yes. I don't, I'll totally forget. And then you can sync it up with, well, I use Acuity yeah. Scheduling, oh, which I guess is another tool. But yeah, being able to sync it up is so nice because then you know a week ahead when your calls are, so mm -hmm. you can schedule around them. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Mm -hmm. You have a word of the year. Um, I guess I would have to say influential. Um, much of what I've been working on, both in the habits that I've, I'm, I'm trying to build in my own life, um, fi uh, fitness habits, that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. as well as the way that I want to be uh, seen on a bigger platform and have more influence in the coaching and consulting world. Uh, yeah, I would say influential or influence is really what I'm going for this year with my business. Awesome. That's excellent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And last question, what is your favorite platform to interact with your audience on? Uh, because the work I do is so visual, uh, I do love Pinterest and Instagram. 
Uh, both of those platforms really are focused on the visual aspect. Um, and with Pinterest, I use it for my clients all the time and I use it to brainstorm. Um, but what's funny is that the actual platform that I use the most is, is still Facebook. Uh, just because that's where my, the audience is, that's where a lot of my potential clients are congregating, it's where they're talking, it's where they're joining groups and interacting with my clients. I'm getting referrals on Facebook, so I really have to keep that momentum going with the Facebook Lives and all that stuff. Um, but it's really a combination of all three of them. I tried YouTube. Uh, as much as I like making videos, you really, it's just so time consuming that I, yep. I can't, it's just I not conducive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. exactly. I do it for the interviews, but right. other than that, I'm not, I don't really, I'm not really on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. I and the behind the you. scenes and like this kind of stuff yeah. is, is really great for YouTube. Um, so yeah, you don't even really have to try. I mean, you're already doing it. <laughs> right. <them>. Well, <laughs> Right. I said, at least let me start, right? You, mm -hmm. you got to start somewhere. Yes. And then you see how you. Yeah, I have. From I'm that. always <laughs> reminding myself that you got to start from somewhere. It's just so easy to get <laughs> caught up in your head like, oh, look at all the stuff out there. All I'm contributing is white noise. I fall into that so often. Yeah. And it's really just about like pushing forward, mm -hmm. whether you have that mm -hmm. imposter syndrome or not. <laughs> yep. Doesn't matter. Got to take action. Yes. Exactly. Totally. I'm with you on that. Well, thank you so much, Laura. Thanks for your time today. Of course. Thank you so much. Thanks. Bye. Bye.